this is not Welcome. I'm Hunting Brew uses only the finest natural honey. Not that sludge you'll find at Golden Glow Estate. Take a look. Good afternoon. You speak to a vigilant of Stendar. 
Cavort with any Daedra, and we will hunt you down. Yes. Our order was founded after the Oblivion Crisis. We dedicate our lives to facing the threat of Daedra wherever they appear. We're quartered in the Hall of the Vigilant. Keeper Carset heads Skyrim's branch of our order there, providing healing and justice as needed. He is the God of Mercy, the patron of order and justice for all of Tamriel. We bring his compassion where none can be found, by cleansing all those who would offend his children. And any other abominations that prey on mortals? Vampires, werewolves, witches? But Daedra are the worst. Their callous disregard for our lives is abhorrent in the eyes of the God of Mercy. None escape the vigil. The suffering All the Daedra the cause will not go unpunished. None escape the vigil. All Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. Take you to any of the hold capitals. Good day. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you.
pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill Do you get to the Cloud the District very often? Oh, Why what am I saying? Of course you don't. And ask Yorland Greymane for help. Oh, it took huh. years. I'd sooner but I earned my way to the top. I own Chilfero Farm, you see. Very successful business. For the I'll be there. We've got small weapons as well as big. Maces, daggers, that sort of thing. Take a look. Good doing business with you. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. I don't claim to be the best slut. In White Run, Yorland Greymane's got that honor. Man's steel is a legend. Have you met my father? He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. Aye, that I do. I've got to, if I hope to be as good as Yorland Greymane someday. In fact, I just finished my best piece of work. It's a sword. I made it for the Jarl, Balgruf the Greater. It's a surprise. I don't even know if he'll accept it, but... Listen, could you take the sword to my father, Preventus Avenici? He's the Jarl's steward. He'll know the right time to present it to him. Thanks. Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. My father, you think all the council might... Not bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. All right, then. some good pieces out here. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in White Run. Yorland Greymane. This looks good. You put time into your blades, they'll serve you well when you need them. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. Mm-hmm. Have you met? Yes? 
Ah, good. A lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps fitting. That kind of thing. Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. I helped my father, the finest weapons and armor. Until next time. Ulfred, patron of the great clan Battleborn. A name I'm sure you know well. You say Helgen got Battle hit board. by a dragon. Give me your money. Oh, I, we'll be ready. I don't have any money. You better give me five septums. Ten septums tomorrow, baby Battleborn. I'm gonna bloody your nose like and your lip. This talk of no, dragons. It's, it's no fun Don't getting mad, pushed I'm around saying. all the time. Well, I used to sneak out at night and try to tip over the big ox in the Grey Mane's yard. And me and Mila used to climb up on the roof of Dragon's Reach and look for bird's eggs. But I don't do that stuff anymore. Father keeps catching me and then I get in trouble. All right then. I know your family's honor is important to you, but we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that thief's den. I can't stop now, and I can't get the sword on my own. So you're willing to starve your wife and daughter to reclaim some rusty old sword? I just need to hire one, maybe two good men. You won't starve. I'll put it plainly. You can claim your sword, or you can keep your wife. If you set foot outside that gate, I won't be here when you return. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. <laughs> no, friend. That I'm not. But I get along with your kind well enough. No, I'm a Red Guard. My family hails from the Imperial Province. Ah, but I left home when I was just a lad. Been wandering ever since. I can teach you a few things. My sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby, but I'm no fool. I'd need the white run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. Wait, I... Hail Summoner. Conjure me up a warm bed, would you? For we are the children of man, and we shall inherit both heavens and earth. You have come. You have come to hear the word of Talos. 
because the so-called emperor is a coward. That's right, I said coward. Oh, yes, he agreed to banish the worship of Talos at the tip of an Aldmeri sword. They called it the White Gold Concordat. Well, I call it blasphemy. A true son of the Empire would never have turned his back on our greatest hero. Not at any price. Well, let me tell you something, friend. Cyrodiil is a long way from here. And in Skyrim, we will never forsake mighty Talos. <laughs> let them come. I have no fear. For Talos is my ally, and I am his prophet. His word is upon my lips, his voice in my throat. Hello, my friend. If you seek knowledge about mighty Talos, you have most certainly come to the right person. In mortal life, Talos was a Nord. Possessed of unmatched tactical skill, limitless wisdom, and the power to see into men's hearts. Talos mastered the power of the voice, and with it he united the lands of men into a great empire. In southern lands, he was known by the name Tiber Septim. Here in Skyrim, we honor him by his proper Nord name. So great was his reign in life. When he ascended to the heavens, he was made Lord of the Divines. If you want to know more, I'm sure you can find any number of tomes on the subject. Terrible and powerful Talos, we, your unworthy servants, give praise. For only through your grace and benevolence may we Ride? Where do you want to go? I don't do charity. No gold, no 
no ride. Are you finished ogling the grotesque? I suppose I should be grateful you didn't simply attack me. I am one of the afflicted. I'd have been dead from this plague a year ago if not for Periite's protection. Returning to High Rock, our shepherd lost his way and I fear Periite's wrath may consume those who remain with him. Kesh could tell you more. I just want out of Skyrim as quickly as possible.
sharp axe to cut through all that fat.
I love it. Ah, hello, my Nord friend. In the market for some hunting supplies? An archer, huh? I've got just what you need. Question often. My brother Anorieth and I came up with it one night after consuming rather too much mead. After our drinks, we went out for a moonlight hunt. We got separated, and in his drunken state, my brother mistook me for a deer. He shot an arrow that pierced my, well, rump. After such a memorable adventure, we knew we had the name for our shop. Try Holder. The innkeeper at the Bannered Mayor. It's just up the road near the market. You should check in at Dragon's Reach, too. There's so much going on these days. The Jarl or his steward might have need of help. An archer, eh? I've got just what you need. Thank you very much for your business. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. First time to Solitude? Beautiful old city. Capital of Skyrim, but I'm sure you're...
If you come to Solitude to join the Legion, speak to Ricker. If not, if you know the clean one. Uncle Rogvir? Tell them he didn't do it. Positions. As far as you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. You betrayed us! Stand back. Interrupting an execution is a serious crime. Never should have come here. Yeah. 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 Get out of here. Scared of all. This should be good. We need to do something about these vampire attacks. If you I need a lot potions, warmer and a lot head over to Angelina's arrow of knees. Helgen. Destroyed by a dragon. Hard to believe, isn't it? I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I did arrow. Right? That's what you do. Please, take pity on an old... Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. 
My master has abandoned me, abandoned his people, and nothing I say can change his mind. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as the Jarl. No, no, such people are below him. No, he went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend. Said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Uh huh. Lots of things to take care of. What do you need? Not in your life. It's dangerous in there. And Falk doesn't even like me and Erdy going in every year to clean out the spiders. If you really want to, just be careful of the ghost. He snuck up on me once and scared me sick. It took a week for me to feel better. You can catch me at the Blue Palace later, if you want to talk again. The winking skeevers got warm beds and cold meat. Undesirables to contend with. Naysayers, buffoons, detractors. Why, my, my headsman hasn't slept in three days. You are far too hard on yourself, my dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. Really? Oh, oh what kind of message? A song! A summons! Wait, uh, I know! A death threat, written on the back of an Argonian concubine! Ah, those are my favorites. Well, spit it out, mortal! I haven't got an eternity. Actually, I do. Little joke. But seriously, what's the message? Were you now? By whom? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Molag? No, no. Little Tim, the toy maker's son, huh? Huh? The ghost of King Lysandus? Ah, oh, or was it one? Yes! Stanley, the talking grapefruit from Passwall! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm wrong on all accounts, aren't I? Ha! <laughs> no matter! Honestly, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? But more to the point, do you, tiny, puny, expendable little mortal, actually think you can convince me to leave? Because that's 
crazy. You don't realize who you're dealing with here. Actually, you do, sort of. I am a part of you, little mortal. I'm a shadow in your subconscious, a blemish on your fragile little psyche. You know me, you just don't know it. Sheagorath, Daedric Prince of Madness, at your service. Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right. I'm done. Holiday! Complete! Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. Makes things infinitely more interesting. Dare to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Have you any idea where you are? Where you truly are? Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius III. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure. Sure. Or you could use... The Wabachak! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? state of mind. Pelagius the Third. Now, surely even you know about Pelagius's decree. On his deathbed, oh, and this was inspired, he forbade death. That's right, death outlawed. Ah! Now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead, pumpernickel. But the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carrying Here we go! It's part of his fragile self. The self-loathing enhances Pelagius' anger. Ah, but his confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining, <laughs> you might find it less so. You see, Pelagius's mother was, well, let us say, unique. 
Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? Get that murder. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned at a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered by anyone. The objective here is simple, you simpleton. Use your wabaja to defeat the enemy, for they do the same.
busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. Inside the mind of Pelagius, silly. Oh, is it your first time? You have headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent.
Hi there. Need something? Hmm?
figure it out. With the threat gone, Pelagius is under the delusion that he's safe, which means you've helped him out, sort of. And we're that much closer to home. Yes? Wonderfully done. Pelagius is finally ready to love himself and continue hating everyone else. Well, now that's something to crow about. With Pelagius up and about, you're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time. Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash or an arrow in the face. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So, congratulations. You're free to go. Bye. They've been known to change my mind. So, go. Really? Pelagius Septum the Third, once the mad emperor of Tamriel, now so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. A trouble Haskell can get into while I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Luggage. Now where did I leave my luggage? Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? As for you, a little mortal minion. Feel free to keep the Wabajack. As a symbol of my... I'll just take the damn thing. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart. <laughs> Ta -ta! Oh, hello. Just tidying up. Please don't interrupt the court. I swear to you, unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. 
Hafengar's people will always be safe under my Your rule. Eminence, my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragonbridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for? Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragonbridge. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. What about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Varnius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. If you have business, please see Falk Firebeard, my steward. Oh, I thought that matter was handled. I think Falk is taking care of that. Hmm. A question I am all too familiar with. One my very thanes ask often. They worry that Tullius is so focused on the war that he risks forgetting what's best for our people. The real irony is that, while General Tullius is certainly no Nord, the people of Skyrim would be lost without him. Trust is always difficult, especially for my people. Yet we must trust in Tullius's leadership. For what other choice do we have? Not yet, no. Although it is true my husband Torig was the High King, and I am his widow. Now is not the time to lay claim to such a title. This land is riven by war, and her people suffer for it. The Stormcloaks are a blight on Skyrim, and like any blight, must be purged. Only then will I take my rightful place as High Queen. Because that's what traitorous cowards do when they desire power. Ulfric coveted the High King's throne. He thought he deserved it more than Torig. And so he came before my husband and he... He shouted. With that terrible voice. Like something out of a legend. Or a nightmare. When Ulfric unleashed such fury... My husband, he... He simply ceased to be. That is all I will say. Or it grieves me to speak of it. Be well. Pray for solitude and my Do husband. you have business with the court? You mean the Dragon Bridge issue? I'll be honest with you. I was planning to let that go. Varnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolfskull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect wild animals, or perhaps bandits. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out the cave, I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. The cave has a bad history. Long ago, Potema the Wolf Queen used it for necromantic rituals. That's where it got the name. That was over 500 years ago. Nothing much down there now. But everyone's always convinced the cave is haunted. That remains to be seen. By rights, she has a legitimate claim as High Queen of Skyrim. But we must have the support of the other Jarls for that claim to have any meaning. Should they accept her rule, we will have peace. Of course he does. What sort of a question is that? Maybe you've been listening to Eriker. There's been loose talk among some of the Thanes. And I suspect he's the cause of it. You'll pay those rumors no heed if you wish to retain your welcome in this city. She may be young, but Elisif is the Jarl by right. And here in Skyrim, if nothing else, we respect the traditions of our father's fathers. You do well to remember that. Feel free to return to me with questions. It's an open forum. <laughs>